Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a wall display for my keychain collection. I have this bag of about 50 keychains that I've collected on my travels over the years and I want some way to display them in the house. So I thought I would make a big board with pegs or hooks uh, that will hold at least about 50 keychains. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is to take these keychains out, take a look at them, measure them to see how far out I need to space the hooks. I sorted the keychains out by size and the ones over here are roughly the same average size here. And the ones over here are a little bit taller with the tallest one being this baseball bat. And the widest one is this one from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Uh, so I took some measurements and I think a good spacing for the hooks is going to be about two and a half inches apart horizontally and four and a half inches apart vertically. And that'll give enough breathing room around the keychain so they don't bump into each other or overlap. Uh, and I have a nice piece of Baltic birch that's 24 inches wide by 30 inches tall. And I think I'm just going to drill about 50 or so holes, as many as I can fit on the board with that spacing. Uh, and drilling all those holes sounds like a good job for the CNC machine. So let's head into the office and jump on the Inventables easel software and design this project. I picked up these axle pegs at the hobby store and they're long enough to hold two or three keychains each because I expect my collection to grow. I measured the diameter of the shaft and it comes out to about 0.22 inches. So I need to make sure the holes in my design are a little bit bigger than that, somewhere around 0.27 or 0.28. This is the Inventables easel software that I use to design projects for the X-Carve CNC machine. I'd like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. And if you'd like to learn more about the X-Carve and try out Easel for free, I'll put a referral link to Inventables in the video description below. When I start a new project in Easel, the first thing I do is enter the board size. Then I enter the bit that I'm using and I check the cut settings and then I can start the design. I decided to place the title of the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, at the top. I thought that would fit the travel theme pretty well, and this text can be customized or you could just remove it and make more space for keychains. Based on the measurements of my keychains, I decided to go with 9 holes across and 6 down for a total of 54. I'm drawing a circle for the first hole and setting the diameter and the cutting depth. With that circle selected, I can go to the app library and use the Replicator app to duplicate it so there are nine evenly spaced holes across. Now I can select that row of nine holes and use the Replicator app again to duplicate that whole row so that there are six evenly spaced rows down. This gives me the entire grid of 54 holes that I need and I can select all of the holes and center them in the space. And that's it for the design. Whenever I cut something on the CNC, I always like to cut the boards toward the front of the machine because it's easier to add and remove clamps. So I'm swapping the board dimensions and turning the design 90 degrees so I can cut it sideways. This way I can easily reach the back corners of the board to clamp it down. This piece of Baltic birch is already pretty smooth so let's throw it on the X-Carve and cut this project out. <laughs> The X-Carve did a good job of carving the letters and drilling these evenly spaced holes. So the next thing I need to do is just give it all a good sanding. I'm going to mask off the letters and spray paint the inside of them with this satin midnight blue.
for the fun part, I get to glue in 54 of these pegs. Alright, the glue is dry on these pegs, so now I'm just going to finish it with some clear spray lacquer. And I guess now is a good time to remove these pesky stickers. Now I'm going to trim the edges of the board with some of this half inch angled aluminum. Alright, here's the finished keychain display hanging in my office and I really like the way it looks. Uh, don't forget, if you'd like to check out the Inventables X-Carve, I'll put a referral link in the video description below. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.